I get it, everybody, and welcome to another special edition of Litter Media Live. I'm Dan Ramey, and with me is A.J. Dick from House of Max. And last year, we did this in your place, as the people are watching the stuff behind us. That's what it looks like inside your place. Mm -hmm. Constantly changing, though. Yeah. Yeah, always expanding, getting bigger, more legit. Mm -hmm. So it's a little different than the last time you were there. The evolution continues. Always. Yeah, every day. This is Andy Tomlinson. When insuring what's important to you, our agents are there when you need us the most. Tomlinson Insurance, for the best coverage at the best cost. Visit us online at tomlinsonins.com to learn more. Those of you who watch on a normal basis are probably thinking to yourself, that doesn't look like Mike Smith over there. <laughs> and it's not. It's AJ Dick of House of Masks. You've got Pale Fest coming up October 13th, 14th, and 15th. Mm-hmm. This is your third event. It's the third. It's my fourth event. It's the second annual Pale Fest, and I guess it technically started with the open house in 2021, but we didn't quite label that a Pale Fest yet. So, one thing I forgot to do is turn my microphone on. <laughs> That's why I have a producer, right? Right. <laughs> we'll fix it in post. <laughs> yes, uh, but your uh, next event is coming up October 13th, 14th, and 15th. Mm-hmm. And for people who don't know what Pale Fest is, obviously uh, the 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 dress is different. Is there something wrong with my dress, Dan? <laughs> Not at all. I Not put on my all. Sunday best for you, and you, you, you come in here and take shots at it. <laughs> but uh, th- this really is an opportunity for people to express themselves and 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 show their creative side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. It's a uh, it's just a big celebration of everything that I think is super cool and whether that's music or horror or artwork or any sort of plethora of creativity, it's all kind of fused into one big festival of fun. So, I know when we talked last year, uh, the band Slipknot has had a great impression upon you. Part of their uh, shtick is wearing the masks. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're lucky enough this year to have two members of Slipknot headlining the festival. So Friday we get the drummer, Jay Weinberg, and then for the entire weekend we get the DJ, Sid. So it's a full circle for sure. That's just incredible because they're coming to Little Chillicothe, Ohio. Yeah. And obviously they make a connection with you. You build a relationship with these guys. Mm-hmm. Otherwise they probably wouldn't even smell Chillicothe, would they? It's 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 really weird. Uh, every once in a while I'll get a reality check about the situation and uh, – I don't know if I'm more, like, prideful of the fact that I've befriended childhood heroes or the fact that, like, Chillicothe is so proud of what I've been able to bring to Chillicothe. So it's weird to walk through Walmart with a Grammy award-winning artist, just like it's just a normal thing or whatever. So, yeah, it's it's all around good. Yeah. Still pinching yourself that this is all happening? Every once in a while. When I, when I get past the stress, I can take a second and be like, wow, this is, uh, this is my life. <laughs> And you've built quite a life. Uh, this all started just in, um, I was first introduced to the A.J. Good brand about 15 years ago, I think, mm-hmm. when I started seeing I Hate A.J. Good, and I thought, what is this all about? Yeah, and, and it's still working. It's still working, yep. and it has turned into what it is today. Yeah. Did you ever dream that something like this would happen 15 years ago? Um, I think I'd known forever that I was going to be something, but I thought for sure that it was either going to be uh, – Music was the first thing, like, I drummed since I was three years old, and uh, that never worked out because I'm not very good in, like, team things. I I like things to be a very certain way, so the only way to do that is by yourself. And, uh, yeah, the Internet has given people such a weird platform to live made-up lives that who would have thought, like, unboxing masks on YouTube for your 12 (laughs) mask buddies would turn into having your own festival and everything else that comes with it. The uniqueness of this, I think, is what is so incredible. Um, you you launched into a, the YouTube sphere, and suddenly like-minded individuals started connecting with you. And how many subscribers do you have now? I hit 167,000 yesterday. That's, 
<laughs> that's fascinating. Yes, yeah, it's, it's weird. <laughs> and what's it like to, to know that there's 167,000 people that not only share your interests but care about what you're doing? It's cool um, because – Without them, I would still be doing whatever job I could get away with, but instead I literally make a decent living showing my passions off to other people that are passionate about those things. And then in turn, now there's these little subgenres where people are just as passionate about the House of Masks as I was about Slipknot, and they're collecting my stuff, and then it's just this weird, uh, it's undescribable, it's, it's very strange. Yeah, uh, I, you have a dream, you take a, a chance, and there's failures along the way. I'm sure you've had some failures oh, yeah. along the way. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but you learn from every one of those, don't you? Yeah. If you're if you're not learning, you might as well stop doing whatever it is. And I've applied that all the way back to tattooing. Like every day if I didn't learn something with a tattoo, there's no point. And there's too many people that think that they know everything and those people disappear because if you're not passionate and you're not learning, it, what like what's the point? There is no point. You've done what you can do. He's not a mime, by the way. He is wearing an actual mask <laughs> for folks wondering why his lips aren't moving when he's speaking, but it's a, truly a mask. Yeah, hopefully it comes through okay. I'm always worried about the audio. Sounds okay, though. Yeah, I, I think we're hearing yeah. you all right. Good. Is there a particular design that you uh, are a name for the mask that you're wearing? Um, they're just death masks of myself. We literally casted my face, and then uh, the whole idea behind the project was to kind of honor and pay tribute to the people that have inspired me. So each one of these, the one you saw last year, was the first one. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was dedicated to a drummer named John Rice. And then there's one that came right after that. It was the West Borland mask. And then I've done one for Joey Jordison of Slipknot. And then this one uh, is called the Morgor mask. And I actually had it painted by the artist, Michelle Morgor. So it's a little more special. I didn't paint it myself. I literally had her look done by her, which I think is pretty cool. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Pale Fest, what does this whole weekend involve? So much more than I can even remember. We've got <laughs> celebrity guests. Like I said, we've got Jay Weinberg and Sid Wilson from Slipknot, which is huge for me. I think huge for anybody. That's, that's the biggest metal band in the world. Like no, no uh, argument or debate for that. Uh, we've got returning members of Guar. We've got four live concerts. Uh, Bather, some semi-local band, is going to be playing. Kiss and Candace will be playing both of those on Friday. And then on Saturday, we have Ricardo Grimm with DJ Sid Wilson. And then we have uh, Swollen Teeth headlining. We've got a wrestling show. We've got a haunted car show. And then, of course, we've got all the vendors uh, that you can come buy stuff from. It's like 20-plus vendors. And my museum will be open to the public Friday and Saturday. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of stuff. And we want to stress the fact that it's very family friendly. Like I'm probably the scariest thing that you'll see. <laughs> so the gore won't be over the top. There's nothing like super inappropriate, uh, nothing evil or satanic or anything like that. It's all family friendly. And kids under 12 get in for free. Is that right? It is. Nice. Yep. I know last year you were talking about little Easter eggs that you were putting out and everything. Are you doing something similar this year? We'd like to, yeah. Um, the local businesses always receive that stuff really well, and they seem super appreciative, and we're appreciative of them letting us kind of cross-promote everything, so we'll definitely be doing something like that. Now some of your special ticketing, that's already sold out, right? Yeah, we did three-day passes, which uh, if you bought them in advance, obviously they came cheaper than individual day passes, and... They came with uh, some special edition collector's items that were only for that. And those have all sold out only because we're out of the actual items to give away. Mm -hmm. But people can still get every single day pass. You just have to buy them individually now. Yeah. And you can buy those online. You've got a website, which is in the scroller going over top of our head. But for those who can't read, uh, <laughs> that web address is www.palefest.net because we couldn't get .com. <laughs> so, so when the dot com doesn't work you go dot net we were thinking about dot org maybe dot edu but uh dot net was the easiest <laughs> yeah that works out uh the event has drawn attention from around the world you you had some folks here from england last year mm -hmm. right yeah that was that was crazy and now there's like a uk carpool like all these uk guys are meeting up to come over together and stuff and uh, Mexico, Canada, stuff like that. But uh, I still think the U.K. is the craziest one. We might have people from Australia this year now that I'm thinking about it. Is that right? Yeah. 
So, see, you you have been on the cusp of the tail end of this uh, World Heritage designation of people coming here. We've been telling them that the world is going to be on our doorstep. Mm -hmm. You're doing that already. Yeah. If you build it, they will come. Yeah. That's the (laughs) complete skateboarder mentality. Like, if we have nothing to skate, we're going to make it. And then uh, it just goes from there. Who would have thought that this all started 2,000 years ago? Dude, life is weird. (laughs) Nothing's real, though. We're not even here. This is all simulation. (laughs) Precisely. All right, uh, I, again, Pale Fest, all that you'll find on the website that we're showing there. I want to switch gears if we can, because AJ's done some other things with his YouTube stuff, and uh, you, you've shown a lot of the good going on in the area. Uh, you have got this fascination with railroads as well. I do. Um, where did all this start for you? I think the railroad stuff predates the mask stuff, honestly. Um, when I was a kid, my first house was on Toledo Street, so I was facing uh, the tracks all day long. And uh, for some reason, I just really like trains, and that's never gone away. So I've gotten into model railroading, and uh, recently I got a really nice camera, and I I didn't want to waste the photography aspect. I've always been interested in documenting, but I don't know anything about photography. I do, however, know a little bit about trains, and uh, I thought that even if I don't have the technical abilities or, or knowledge or skill with a, with a photography, I know how to make a train look good. Like I know what makes that shot look good. So I went out and started shooting and my buddy Matt day has been helping me here and there. He'll help me with like editing and what I should do with this situation and stuff. It's been really fun. It's like my Zen garden. Yeah. yeah. And we want to get Matt in here to talk about his photography side of things. He's another YouTube success because he's got about a hundred and 60,000. Yeah, he's right. We're always been neck and neck. as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I just, I'm still taken aback by the fact that guys are able to get that accomplished. What's know? crazy is that's not a dent in a lot of YouTube right. success stories. There are people with millions. millions and that blows my <laughs> mind. So, yeah. But perhaps one day. Yeah, shoot for the stars. One day. Uh, but back on the, the trains, I, I've seen some of your photos you posted on Facebook and the picture says so much. It, it may be a rail car of some sort in the shot, but the scenery around it seems to tell a story, whether that be um, scenic, you know, out by Paint Creek in mm-hmm. the trees and everything, or just back behind the paper company. Yeah. You know, it, it tells a story. I didn't just want to capture railroading. I, I specifically wanted it to be Chillicothe based. And there's a, a feel that you and I and any other local will absolutely know about. It's like a grimy East end, uh, wood panel wall, that old fashioned nineties, eighties, nineties stuff. And, uh, I try to make that really apparent with all the photos that I shoot here. Yeah. Cause it shows an age, yeah, a particular age yeah. of the, the health of the railroad companies. Yeah. So. Yeah, it just reminds me, like, I've always been an East End kid, so I, I have memories of uh, Mary Lou Patton Park or the Wherever Plant or the Paper Mill or whatever it's going to be, so. Yeah. Well, I we wanted to make sure we touched on that before we let you go because yeah. someone just watching and seeing uh, someone not looking normal, I you guess keep talking it? about I, my I, appearance, <laughs> and I'm getting offended, Travis. <laughs> I come down here it and is, do this interview. It's not intentional. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. But it, but it stands out and, and captures your eye. And uh, But I wanted people to know that it's more than just masks. and it's it, You've got substance to you. Yeah, I would say so. so absolutely. I think I'm a decent guy. That he is. He's got good in his name. Yeah, some oh. might even say I'm good. <laughs> AJ, good. <laughs> Thank you for coming in today. Appreciate you making yourself available for this. Yeah, thanks for having me. And thanks for bringing people to Chillicothe. Absolutely. All right. AJ Good, Pale Fest, October 3rd. That's a Friday the 13th. Ooh. Saturday the 14th, which always follows Friday the 13th, and Sunday the 15th of October. Thanks for watching Litter Media Live.